Okay, today I'm going to talk to you about weight and mass. Now these two things are, uh, are very closely related, but there's a big difference between them. People often use them interchangeably, but there is a difference, and that is what we're going to be learning today. So first of all, let's think about mass. Let's imagine we have this person here. Um, their mass is 75 kilograms. Now, there's a couple of key information, bits of information we need to know about mass. So first of all, mass is a scalar quantity. It just has a size, not a direction as well. And the other thing is basically what mass means is the matter that this person or this, I, this object is made from. So the kind of atoms in their body, the matter that makes them up is 75 kilograms. So let's imagine that we took this person and they went and they went to the moon. So this is now this person on the moon. Their mass would still be exactly the same, 75 kilograms, because the amount of atoms in their body, the, the matter in their body has not changed. They're still the same, but they're just on a different, um, in a different place in the universe. So you'll see in a minute why I use this example of being on the moon. Okay, so what exactly is weight? Now weight is different. Weight is a force. Because this person on earth, their mass is 75 kilograms, but their weight, we need to factor in the gravitational field strength, the gravitational pull of the earth, pulling them down. So as a result, weight is said to be a vector quantity. It has both a size and a direction because it's the size, the mass, and the direction, the direction of gravity pulling them down. So it's the effect of the gravitational field strength acting on this person's mass. So let's kind of follow the same example as we did before. Let's have a quick look to see how this person's um, weight would change this time if they went from Earth to the Moon. Now this person's weight on Earth is 750 Newtons, and I'll show you why that is in just a minute. Now when they went to the Moon, the Moon actually has a lower gravitational field strength than the Earth. So as a result, the force pulling them down towards the surface of the Moon is going to be less. So as a result, as they go to the moon, when they go to the moon, their weight will decrease. Their weight will decrease. That is because of the, there's less force, um, gravitational field strength pulling them down towards the surface of the moon. Please notice that weight is measured in newtons because it's a force and force is measured in newtons. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to look at the equation behind weight, mass and gravitational field strength. And here it is right here. So someone's weight equals their mass, so remember that's like the matter within their body, multiplied by the gravitational field strength. So the strength of gravity on that particular part of the universe. So um, it can be summed up with this equation triangle right here. Weight equals mass times gravity. So let's see how this equation relates to this particular situation. So the, um, the first example here, now the reason why we got this here is because of this. On Earth, on Earth, we always take the gravitational field strength to be 10 newtons per kilogram. This is a number that you need to know. So 10 newtons per kilogram. So, looking at our equation, if I wanted to find the weight, I need to do the mass of this individual multiplied by the gravitational field strength. So this person's mass was 75 kilograms, and the gravitational field strength is 10 newtons per kilogram. 75 times 10 is 750 newtons. So that's how I knew this person's weight. However, this person has then gone to the moon. Now, the gravitational field strength on the moon is much less. So on the moon, the gravitational field strength is around 1.6 newtons per kilogram. You do not need to know this off by heart. So again, let's have a look at our equation. To find the person's weight, we do their mass multiplied by their gravitational field strength. So their mass is still 75. Remember, because 
the particles in them, their matter has not changed, even though they've gone to the moon, that is the same. It's still 75 kilograms. What has changed is the gravitate, the strength of the gravitational field strength. So this time, it's only 1.6 newtons per kilogram. So let's quickly put that into the calculator. 75 times 1.6 equals 120. So their weight has dramatically decreased to 120 newtons. So that is the difference between weight and mass. Remember, mass is a scalar quantity. It's the matter in your body. It's the same no matter where you are in the universe. Your weight is a force. It's a vector quantity, and it's measured in newtons. Your, your uh, weight changes depending upon the gravitational field strength. And finally, this is the equation we need to know. Weight equals mass times gravitational field strength. And here's the equation triangle to support us with that. Thank you.